David, can you just give us your thoughts after a really difficult afternoon in Paisley? Jekyll and Hyde performance, really. Uh, we got into the game, we set up. I didn't know what to go into this game with a back four. I thought we needed three centre-halves to defend our 18-yard box because St Myrna are very, very good. They're very, very direct. They put you under a lot of pressure. And they put a lot of balls in your box. So I thought I had to change the shape slightly today. To be more defensive and more defensive third, have more bodies in and around the area, more boys that can go and attack the ball. And um, you lose a goal after eight seconds, really. I know it wasn't eight seconds when the goal was scored, but the penalty incident happened on eight seconds, so we knew it. I think we Penners is hoping the ball's going out over his head, he's gambling on that going out over his head for the kick-off. Curtis Main picks it up, Shins picks the next one up, tries to play it to Morgs when he probably should hook it on. Um, and then that leads to a ball in my box and Big Luigi's very unorthodox how he goes for the ball and his hands are out, I don't think he's got his feet right, I don't think he's got his positioning right. In real time, I thought it was a pen. Looking back, probably a wee bit softer than I thought, but in modern day football, if you go jumping about like that in your box with your arms outstretched, you've got to de de going to give penalties away. So we find ourselves one now down. Five and a half thousand fans behind them. I think it's books is a wee bit. I think we lost a wee bit of composure or any composure we were hoping to build within the game. You're going away from home. They've got one of the best defensive records in the league for a reason. We knew that. So anyway, the first goal is books. The second goal is poor. Really, really poor from a defensive point of view. Centre, Big Luigi's positioning is no great. Nicky should probably be tucked down, but Nicky, it's no Nicky's fault. But he had a light my wing back to be tucked round in there. Big Luigi gets caught the wrong side. We allow the ball into Main, who flicks it in. The Tony Watt and the two strikers link up well together, and Luigi gets caught the wrong side. So we find ourselves 2 0 down early doors in the game, with a game that we know that's got huge importance to the season. And I think the boys really, really struggled at that point, and St. Martin smelt that, and they just kept putting balls in my box, asking questions at the back three. We lose a third goal, second penalty. So, story of the first half, did we deserve anything from that? No. Nope. I think Shinny's is in. A couple of players, St Mirren players, have told me it was in. I've looked at our footage, it was in. So how VAR's shown it not to be in, or inconclusive, is disappointing. But anyway, you lose that first half, fair and square, I thought St Mirren put us under huge pressure in their game plan What? because they put balls in your box and that leads to making mistakes which ultimately cost us a game of football. Second half, I thought we managed to get the boys in at half-time, regroup, get a wee bit of information into them, and I thought we were a lot better in the second half, but it's easy sitting saying that when a team's 3-0 up. There's no really any intensity from them. their play at that point in time. First half, I thought they were more hungrier, more endeavour, more intensity, everything they've done, but I genuinely do believe that comes from getting spooked for losing a goal so early basically from kick-off. I think to one player, maybe Shinny's, Shinny, Shinny's the only player that actually touched the ball for Livingston, we find ourselves 1-0 down. So Horrendous start, horrendous first half, better second half, but only got ourselves to blame. You've seen about the change of formation, the change of shape. You went with the two kind of physical strikers up top. Was that to kind of try and one match up with St Mirren, go with the 3-5-2 and then... You see when you're looking at St Mirren's got a, a lot of goals for balls in your box. The balls in the box can come from long throw-ins, they can come from set plays, they can come from open play also, but at that point my two strikers, if they're in my box at open play, I'm in trouble. So at that point I'm looking at throw-ins because Decky can throw, but we didn't know Decky was not going to play today, but again they put throw-ins in your box and set plays and they're very, very... They're very good at that, so trying to match up and trying to stop that suggested that I needed a bit of height in the team because I think Curtis main bullied us in the first half, so even by me changing that and getting a wee bit more height in the team, I still don't think that worked. So the change of shape came about, I wanted to match up with them, but I also felt it was going to help us within the game in terms of set plays. Now you could argue it did because he never scored from a set play. He scored for two crosses into our box. It led to penalty kicks and a throw-in into our box. So, looking at it, coming here, and do you know what? I thought the striker play, the two strikers actually played quite well together. I thought they linked up well together. Me, Bruce, he's not really been hitting the heights. He's been hitting off, hitting off late. 
Um, so I felt it was important to dip Bruce out of the team. Curtis has been doing well at training. I thought Curtis done really well today. Joel Newbley's probably been the outstanding forward within the team, so Joel was always going to get a place in the team in some shape or some formation. So I made that made that uh, change. Debatable if it helped, debatable if it never helped. I don't know. I don't know, but I'll go back and I'll watch the game back. But one of the main reasons we went with the bigger boys within the team today was I wanted to nullify them from set plays. And to a large degree we've done that, but it's not just me sitting talking about that when you've lost the game 3-0 and gave away three terrible goals. And kind of a weird roundabout way now that kind of sitting two points behind St Man, do you think it's going into these last three games, these last three kind of like big cup finals before the before the split, do you think that it almost gives Livingston the chance to play with a, a, a bit more freedom, just go, we've got nothing to lose now? No, I don't think that's got any day with how we've got nothing to lose. I just mean more in the fact that you're coming from behind instead of you're going, trying to hold on. That was... Nah, because if, if we had nothing to lose, that suggests that we're not trying to get in the top six. We've got every possibility of making the top six, so, nah, definitely not. I think it actually it has the opposite effect. I think it puts a wee bit more pressure on the staff and a wee bit more pressure on the players to pick points up, where if you went and win the day, you probably ease that pressure on yourself slightly, so I think it actually has the opposite effect on us. I think it puts the demands on us more. They inten it intensifies the pressure within the group. So, But again, everybody that's in and around us, probably, probably bar, to be honest, Motherwell and St Johnson, who are maybe a wee bit far away from making the top six at this point. They're just trying to pick, win games of football and pick points up to finish with as most points or as high as the league as possible. Dungeon United are fighting for their lives down the bottom of the table so we've got three huge games Stephen Kelwell's win to Motherwell and done extremely well with them so St Martin have got a hard run in um, I think Hibs got beat today did they I've not I've, I'm just hearing it for the staff in the changing room I've no luck so it's going to be it's going to be an interesting two or three weeks um, but I, I generally think probably added a wee bit more pressure to ourselves just to answer your question probably added a wee bit more pressure to ourselves rather than taking a wee bit of pressure off us I didn't mean that in a bad way no no totally it was, I, I, was, I was more just meaning the kind of you you now got the chance to come from behind instead of being the, the ones there to be shot at potentially you would be, but no I, to, to, I totally understand you'd yeah. rather be in front wouldn't you you'd no. rather be sitting there in front and again you've got to better better on Max St Mirren's results and you're hoping within that that you're going to you're going to better them in one of these games. But we can only I can only control Livingston Football Club. So we'll focus on the next game, which is Motherwell away. We'll focus on that and see where it takes us. Thanks.